and welcome everybody back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be continuing working on the 318 Mopar small block uh, that we tore down in our previous video that we found two cracks in. So if you missed that video, you can go up here and watch that. Uh, but today we're going to be working on putting C's in those two cylinders to fix the cracks. Uh, we'll take you through the whole process of uh, cutting the block, getting the sleeves put in, sizing them, taking the block, all that kind of stuff. We'll get started. Alrighty, so we got the block set up in the machine. We got it centered up over our cylinder that we're going to be sleeving. So next we need to go through. Uh, we need to measure our sleeve, see what the exact diameter of that is, and then we can get our gauge set up and start cutting uh, so that we have the right amount of press. Typically, we're going to shoot for about a thou, no more than a thou and a half of press on these sleeves. Um, a thou is plenty. Um, so we'll find an average of the sleeves because they're not always round, but we'll find our average. Uh, set up the cutter and we'll get cutting. As you can see, it's not perfectly straight or perfectly round for the manufacturer. So that's why we kind of mic it 90 degrees from each other at the top, middle, and bottom. And then we can average those numbers. And that's what we will use for setting up our cutter for getting the press fit that we want. So we've already done the other one. It's kind of the same way. but it averages out to the same. Alrighty guys, so this is the cutter that we use for uh, boring for our sleeves. As you can see, it's kind of got a 90 degree cut on the end of it there. It's just so that we can allow our sleeve to sit flat. The bottom of the sleeve is chamfered um, to help in case there is any kind of uh, step or anything there. Uh, but that's why we use a flat bottom cutter. So I'll show you how we get that set up to our diameter. We have our sitting fixture here. Currently our bore is 4040. Um, we typically won't take more than 100 thousandths cut uh, just on roughing. So we'll get this set up and we can get a good chunk of the material out. Right now it doesn't really matter what we set our cutter to because we're going to take another cut after this. So we've got it set to 4090 and 7 tenths. So we'll get our sleeve cut, or the block cut, and then we'll double check with our board gauge, and then we can set up and do our final cuts.
Alrighty guys, so we got our block set up in the surfacer. Uh, so we're going to get the decks cut. That way our sleeve will be nice and flush with the rest of the deck. It won't be sticking out or anything. And then we can get it set up in our home and be able to get the sailors home. Alrighty guys, so we just finished surfacing the block. We took about a thousandth of a cut on both sides to get it to clean up. Uh, so our sleeves sit nice and flush with the deck now. Um, so we'll get it out and get it ready to go in the center hone. Um, so we'll save that for another video. We'll show you honing that. Um, also filling the block. Um, so we'll get all that stuff ready for you. Um, if you've enjoyed the video so far, uh, make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, click the little bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Um, we'll continue on with this next time. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see y'all later.